The glass shells of diatoms are ornamented with detailed patterns. These patterns are very useful in identifying the different species of diatoms. However, the patterns of living diatoms are not easy to see. Also, the presence of debris in the sample can make observation difficult. Now we will demonstrate how to prepare a slide. This process will allow us to easily observe the patterns on the glass shells of diatoms. First, we will demonstrate the cleaning process using the diatom sample we collected from the river. Using a pipette, take a sample from the bottom of the vial. Next, place this sample into a centrifuge tube. Prepare another tube the same way. Once the diatoms have settled to the bottom, remove the liquid supernatant. Next, we will carefully add a commercial drain cleaner. Add two to three times the amount of the diatom sample. Then, mix the solution gently using a pipette. When mixing, be careful not to splash any of the mixture outside of the tube. Now, wait approximately 20 minutes. During this period, it is best to mix the solution two more times. When the 20 minutes is over, dilute the mixture with distilled water. Add enough water to make the amount of liquid equal in both tubes. Next, place the tubes in a centrifuge. Here the diatoms are precipitated from the mixture. Both motorized and manual centrifuges are appropriate to use. After centrifugation, pour out the liquid. Even if the tubes are turned completely over, the diatoms will remain because they adhere to the tube. Repeat the dilution process at least three times. This process is necessary for removing the drain cleaner. If the drain cleaner is not removed, you will not be able to prepare good slides. When comparing the clean diatoms to the original sample, you can see that the clean diatoms have turned white. Next, we will demonstrate the preparation of slides. Add distilled water to the clean diatom sample until the mixture becomes cloudy. This is done to dilute the sample. A high concentration of diatoms makes observation difficult. Next, we will heat a drop of this mixture. First, Place a ceramic tile on an electric heater. Place a cover slip on the tile. Then place several drops of the diluted solution on the cover slip. Heat the ceramic tile until the liquid on the cover slip evaporates. After the liquid has evaporated, wait another minute and then turn off the heat. Then carefully remove the cover slip from the tile and place it on the slide facing down. Use tape to fix the cover slip on the slide. With that step, the preparation of the slide is complete. This method of slide preparation creates temporary slides. There is also another way to make permanent slides. First, place about one drop of Plurax on a slide. Plurax is a mount medium. Then, take a cover slip from which the diluted diatom solution has already been evaporated. Place it face down on the Plurax. Place the slide on the ceramic tile and heat it gently. This allows for the evaporation of the alcohol in the Plurax. At first, many bubbles will form. But as the alcohol evaporates, fewer bubbles form. Once this happens, remove the slide from the tile. 
use a tool to gently press the cover slip down on the slide and remove any air bubbles. This must be done promptly because the Plurax hardens very quickly. After several minutes, the Plurax is completely hardened and the slide preparation process is complete. Detailed observation of diatoms is possible with either method of slide preparation, although permanent slides are better.